Hello, hello, trying to get back on track here. Didn't feel so great the last week, so trying to focus on the positive, so I will share this experience with you. These arrived yesterday. I picked them up from the Zollamt. I've no idea what the English word is. And as I predicted, I had to pay 19% sales tax, which was, I think, 25 euros and a few cents something along along those lines. Um, these I ordered a week after I ordered the dashboards, but the dashboards haven't arrived yet, so I don't know what happened. Maybe they were on a different ship. No idea. I paid all in all, because these were on sale, 137 euros for this, which already includes 30 euros for shipping, because shipping to Germany is expensive and I took the cheapest option because I'm... I'm not rich <laughs> and the shoe buckles were for free, there was some kind of sale thing going on so these are the Frasers I like this because I can put them in storage in the shoe box and I still know what shoes wear not all shoe salespeople do this and this is a very, very pretty box. I'm very happy with this. I'm normally not for the light blues, but this is very pretty. It's got a little hole so your shoes can breathe. I like that too. So these are the shoes made in Nevada. And I think they're very pretty. I like about the leather that you can actually see that it came from an actual cow, so it's not too perfect. It's got little bits that are unique and that's the way leather should be. It's got the little... I think that's called a latch, not quite sure. And I already tried them on for size yesterday and they fit. They fit okay, but not too snugly, which is important for me because when my feet get cold I put on two pairs of socks. So they need to fit with two pairs of socks, but also with just one pair of socks. So this works. Also, um, when my toes get uncomfortable, I really don't like that. I start walking funny when my toes are being pinched into a point and it actually damages my feet. So I like that. That's not the case with these shoes. I won't have to send them back. And there are some imperfections in the lining too. I don't know if you can see that and I like that. It looks very handmade and they're very very comfortable. I'm not one for heels normally but those I can actually walk in. Then there's some other stuff in here too. Some advertisement, advertisement stuff for the book. The book arrived by the way. I'm not through yet. I will let you know how much I like it. And a lollipop for some reason. Then there's exchange heels, which I think is a rather good idea. And these were for free because of some some sale thing going on when I ordered those. Those are the shoe buckles, which would be about forty dollars, I think, but I got them for free because I got lucky. And these are the James buckles because they seem to be not so ostentatious. I like my shoe buckles symbol apparently. I didn't know that before but now I do. So I will show you how they look when I put them on my feet. By the way you can see why I have to take care with my shoes because this over here it's called I think uh, Halux Vagus or something, which means when my toes get pinched in the front and then I put the weight on them, that my toes start shifting, like the bones start shifting and this starts sticking out. The only way I can prevent this is to wear comfortable shoes or just no shoes at all, whenever it's possible. So. Let's try this. Again. That is a very daring angle, by the way. 
So, these work for me very well. I've got room for my toes. My big toe is up to here, so it's not too pointy. I'm not really pushed into the point when I stand. I like that a lot. And also the back is very comfortable. It doesn't pinch in here, so I really I think I'm going to enjoy those. So I'm using the website of American Duchess How to Fit 18th Century Shoe Buckles. I have no idea how this works. I kind of toyed around with the shoe things yesterday, trying to figure out which part goes where, but it didn't actually dare to make any holes in the shoes. So. Hope the lighting works for all of us. You might just see me spectacularly fail in this. So keep your fingers crossed. I bought this funky thing. I think it's called an ale or something. It's pointy to make holes. It's also a little dangerous. So that's why the lady in the shop gave me this. This was the cheapest thing about this whole affair so far. So, I'm going to read the instructions. Here's the shoe buckle. Apparently, this thing in the middle is the pin. This is the tongue. This is the uh, shape. These are spikes. Okay, that's self-explanatory. And this is the frame. I think they're very pretty, so it's best to fit your buckles while wearing your shoes. You can do this yourself or have a friend help you. Okay, I'm going I'm going to try it on my foot, but first I have to wrap this open. Oh wait. That's what I mean by the little flaws, there's a little bit of the lining sticking out. No matter, I can just cut this off and I think I'm going to be alright. I think that's okay. Got a little bit of extra lining here. So I think this is actual linen or cotton, I'm not quite sure. I would have to look that up. So this is my left shoe. I take this thingy with this thingy. I put this in here. Okay. Okay, that was the easiest part. Slide the shorter bottom latchet, so that's the word latchet, through the shape. The shape will pinch the latchet, keeping it snug. So I guess that means that this thing is kind of Pulling the leather strappy thing here in. Align the buckle on the center of your foot and mark the position of the shape spikes. Okay, now I have to. I should have thought this through. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I need to get in shape. Okay. Align it on the center of your foot. It's here, right? Hmm, not quite. Okay. No, 
now it's on the center. Mark the position of the... Wait, is it? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll just follow the instruction. Then mark where they pinch. You don't pinch. Am I holding this the wrong way? Am I? Looks like I am. Oh yeah, that makes sense. He was holding the thing the wrong way around, I think, so it shouldn't, like... It shouldn't be, like, one round thing. You see, these are kind of bent. Should be like this, so that these pinch upwards. Okay, let's try again. Put this in. One way up. Now this is at the center of my foot. Okay. Okay. Now this actually pinches here. I'm going to check that out. Wasn't that video for this? I'm sure there was a video for this. Those are supposed to go. <sighs> Drawing kind of looks like this is the right way. See, this is where my problem lies. So, and um, now I'm Close to measure a quarter of an inch. That's like so much. Okay. Looks like a bit much, if you ask me. Let's try this again, shall we? did it. <sighs> Stay there, okay. Yes. Maybe they're right. Okay. I should do the standing, but then I couldn't film this. <sighs> Let's just try this. What can go wrong? Except everything. punching.
Oh, I just heard the leather rib. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. Can I pull them through? I think I can. If I hit the hole. very not right. <laughs> I think it does actually go the other way around like this. It just makes more sense. Oh. I think my ale isn't big enough. Okay. But it grabs the thing. Yeah, no, they're actually grabbing this. Okay, okay. Good, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I figured this out. These in the leather. This here, and then zip this through. Okay. I feel really bad hurting the leather like this. Okay. Okay. With the shape spikes pushed through the holes. And laying flat, your buckle should still be centered at the top of your foot. Yeah, it is. Okay. Feed the longer top ledger through the buckle frame, pulling back tightly. That looks okay. Mark the position of the tongue spikes that's here. On the underside of the long lead shirt. Again, use your awl or leather punch to create holes one fourth of an inch back from the marked position of the tongue spikes. Whew, that's an awful lot. Don't think I'm going with a whole quarter of an inch. Let's see. A strain on the leather already. <laughs> okay. This will do. I think I'm not going a whole fourth of an inch.
see if that works. Oops. And there it goes. I think the hole isn't wide enough. Okay, now it is. <laughs> and this in here. Yeah. yeah, that looks almost okay. That's definitely all right. It's not too tight. I like it. Yep, those are very pretty. And comfortable. Very stylish, very comfy. Definitely Emma approved, huh? 